What is going on, everybody, and welcome back. How is everybody doing today? So this box here is something that I've never even seen anybody open before in my life. I got this in a package from my good friend Julie Farnham. One of the incredible rack packages she had sent off to me recently. I opened it up, and to my surprise, there was this box there that I had never seen before in my life. So Panini Capstone, this is the debut edition. So I guess that essentially means this is the first ever year for this stuff. And I had never heard about it. I'd never seen it opened. So I'm very excited to get into this stuff today because I'm going into this blind. Wow, those are thick packs. Holy smokes, those are thick. I was not expecting that. We got some big chungus stuff in here today. So there is six cards, uh, sorry, five cards in a pack. These are so thick to only have five cards in there. And six packs in a box. So the math on that tells me we will be getting 30 cards out of here. Look how nice these are. Holy smokes. The camera is not really doing these justice. That's what I'm noticing right now by looking at these. This is absolutely stunning. I cannot believe how good these cards look. The lighting is all messed up and it's not looking very good, but... Wow. Okay, so we have Jose Abreu on the White Sox. There's Yadier Molina, now retired. Mike Yastrzemski. We have a Atlanta Kyle Mueller. There's Aaron Judge. That's a nice one to get right there. Obviously, Aaron Judge is one of the best hitters in the league. Aaron Judge. Um, Crest. Crest. These are gorgeous. I've never seen this before. And it says, I forgot to mention, but we will be getting one autograph or one memorabilia card per box on average. So you guys know the deal. Hopefully we don't get done dirty and we actually do get one. Be nice to get an autograph, but like I say, I always do like memorabilia cards. So I'm going to be happy either way. Uh, Camilo Doval, Luis Gill. Um, the, uh, these are crazy. These are so nice. It looks like we have an autograph. Alfonso... Rivas, Alfonso Rivas, Alfonso Rivas, I'm not familiar, on the Chicago Cubs, that's a nice card right there, these do look gorgeous, so that looks like one of those throwbacks to those old Crown Royal cards that Panini used to make, uh, Byron Buxton on the Minnesota Farnamy Farnums, there's Justin Verlander on the Houston Trash Trows, four packs left to go, we did get an autograph, so very happy with this already, we have Chris Bryant, Brian Hayes, uh, Jose Siri, that's a rookie card there of Jose Siri. Obviously, I do not like the Astros, most people don't, but Jose Siri is a very good young rookie. There's Liam Hendricks, and then Saya Suzuki, New Age, that's a beautiful card right there. Beautiful. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Thank you so much for this, Julie. I did not expect these cards to... Uh, to look as good as they do here. This is cool. Uh, we have Dylan Cease. Jose Altuve. Yep. We have Rob Robert Suarez. Robert Suarez. Why did I call him Robert? Robert Suarez. Joanne Duran. A deja Vu of Pete Alonso and Harmon Killebrew. That's kind of a cool card right there. I like how thick these are. Look at that. They're all massive. They're all, like, what, a 100-gauge card, I think, or something like that. Two packs left to go here today. All right, we have Alec Baum. We got the bomb. Who told you to put the bomb on? I didn't tell you to put the bomb on. Uh, we have Rowancy Contreras. We have Bryce Harper. Austin Hayes. And another Pete Alonzo. We have a big bang of Pete Alonzo. Okay, J.P. Crawford, Ryan Zimmerman, Logan Gilbert, Joe Musgrove, and Jose Ramirez, Cleveland. That's a pretty cool one. Summit, Cleveland Summit. That's a really nice looking card. Jose Ramirez is a great player. There was a lot of rumors um, last year, last offseason, that Jose Ramirez possibly was going to be a Blue Jay. It would have been nice. That's the kind of player they're kind of missing right now in their lineup is another really big left-handed bat, like a power hitter kind of guy. But um, yeah, it is what it is. We do not have Jose Ramirez. But, and now 
that box is over. We will get into our Allen and Ginter packs here. See if we can get something good out of here. So with last year's Allen and Ginter, you guys all know the routine. We will be looking for the spinach card. We have finally pulled it, it has happened. So there is proof of the existence of spinach. We have Nagandi, Yastrzemski, Lamette. We have a Larkin Mini, we have a Black Birch, and we have Ramirez. But we still got five cards. Did we get five? I think I got ripped off in there again. No, we got six cards. We got our six cards in there. And now we'll be on with this year's Allen and Ginter. Still trying to find the goose card. So I guess now we have to focus all of our efforts into finally pulling this goose card. We have an Otto Lopez, Otto Lopez, Otto Lopez rookie. We have a Dave Winfield. We have Dijon, uh, Lee versus Grant. So General Lee versus General Grant. What is that? Chin music. So we got one of these lexicons. These seem to be the toughest insert to pull from the minis. These baseball lexicons. Uh, and then we have a Thomas rookie. And that's it. That's it. So chin music. Uh, right. So, yeah, chin music. So throwing at somebody's face pretty much to knock them back off the plate a little bit is what that's all about. So that's it for that box. This was pretty fun. I really, really enjoy the look of these cards. These are absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to have to go pick up a whole bunch of 100 uh, gauge top loaders, I guess, here. So thanks, everybody, for checking out this video today. I hope you all have a great day and enjoy the polls.